Hi guys. Uh, today is Monday in the Beckon. I had a nice weekend. So our cousins invited us over. It was really nice. Um, but today we also got uh, news actually um, last week. I got an email that they canceled our return flight. We're due to go back to Canada December 9th and uh, they canceled. So I'll have to go into Madalena to check out, check with the airlines, SATA. Source Airlines that to find out uh, what my alternatives are and then uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, I was noticing the last couple of days it's been a bit choppy. A little rain, a, little, a lot of wind at times but today it's just like back to summer and uh, hopefully on the way to Madalena you can see how blue I actually call it. It's almost like a purple blue. Uh, the ocean is yeah. Hi guys. So it's November 3rd and we're actually working on our next vlog today. But uh, I want you to follow me outside here because I can't believe this weather. I keep talking about it, but it's it's it is sunny. I'm thinking 17 18 and it's brilliant. Just look at this. Super sunny day today, obviously. And in November 3rd, this is the fall. This is the kind of days you get pretty much throughout the month. You're obviously going to get your other rainy days, windy days. We've had those a couple of days, but then you get these days in between. Unbelievable. It's just, uh, for me, this is, this is I just love this, this temperature. Yeah, so here's uh, <laughs> the view we get. From our balcony but uh, when the sun comes down from that area from that side it just really reflects on uh, the colors of the house the tiles just uh, just love this time of day when the sun comes in like this it really shows the vegetation let's see if we can uh, point it towards the sun I don't think we can see but the, the water Probably hard to see the water, but let's focus in there. It's kind of shining like diamonds. But it's November 3rd. Sunny, relaxing, peaceful. Sata office just to see if we could uh, get another flight because our flight was cancelled as we mentioned. So we're looking at going back January 23rd which means that I am going to have to extend my visa because it only is extended until um, December uh, 23rd. So uh, yeah that's our mission today and uh, we're going to head over, we're actually going to go have a coffee at the cafe down the street. So we're here just having a coffee at a really cool bakery called Padaria Andrade, Andrade here in Madalena. And we just came out of uh, Sata, as you saw earlier. And uh, we're just kind of uh, waiting to go into the CEF office, which is um, talk to them about extending again Laura's um, tourist visa. So we're just having some, I mean, we, I think what we're going to do, we're going to discuss it some more. And if extending the visa is not a problem, uh, instead of booking to leave, you know, two, three days later, there is a flight on December 12th. Uh, we're going to wait, we're going to probably book uh, January 23rd. Okay, they're flying considerably less now. And things may even change more because of COVID between now and then. So it's, you might as well extend the visa longer, and uh, yeah. we have to be back to Canada within six months, basically. So January 23rd puts us right on the edge there. Yeah, we'd like to go back for Christmas, but the problem is if we take a flight on December 12th, we have to quarantine in Canada for 14 days. 
so that last day would land us right on Christmas Day. So that yes. would be a little bit difficult. Uh, yeah, we want to be careful with our families. And it's complicated. It would be more of a hassle. Um, yeah. As long as the, there's no problem extending the visa, I don't see why there would be. And um, SATA doesn't now or Canada between countries sometimes they might have to shut the airports we don't know they haven't they haven't done that at this point Spoon stop is moving your hands I'm, I'm Portuguese I can't talk without moving my hands I'm like I think I'm half Italian half Portuguese anyways um, how come I'm not moving my hands yeah because well you're not half Portuguese yeah, there might be a little bit of a noise in here it's a bit of an echo yeah so we're having a really nice Galon. We had a great uh, chocolate croissant, and uh, this cafe is really nice. They, they have uh, lots of delicious desserts. Chocolates, little chocolates. You do a lot of specialized Yeah, these chocolate cakes. chocolates are amazing. They're just very colorful, and, and uh, they make everything here. Yeah, we've been coming here less. Usually when we're in, uh, closer to here, we, we come here more often. Now that we're in the other village, we obviously don't. So, uh, anyways. Yeah, sorry for that noise in yeah, the background. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, um, for now, I think we'll cut it. Uh, we'll maybe talk a little bit more after the, the tourist visa, but... Yeah, so would we'll, you, yeah we'll, keep, we'll let you know what happens. I mean, we just thought it would be good to know other people might be in the same situation. I don't know if they're... I know another guy that's fight guy. Obviously, if you're traveling in December, those unless you're traveling on the dates that weren't canceled, you got, a, you got an email and now you're trying to figure things out. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm a Portuguese citizen. I don't worry so much about staying here. Laura is a different story. But we do worry about going back to Canada, staying longer than six months. So, okay, citizenship, because I'm not a Canadian citizen at this point. Uh, even though I came to Canada in 74, it's something I never actually did. Probably one of those stupid things, but, uh, or lazy things. But that's the fact. So the key is to get back. Six, within six months, yeah. unless right we now, can't. With the numbers going up, we also feel that it's safer to stay here because there's not that many cases on the island. Yeah, and we have a few more of the things that we could do while you know by staying longer. There are taking uh, there's been delays, so mm -hmm. we're gonna really shoot to stay. It looks like January twenty third. There's a lot of space. I asked the girl at Sata, the agent, and. of today is rain right Zinni? Zina is watching the rain and they're watching me but yeah so for the next probably day this is what we're gonna be having here it's just raining wind probably some thunder later it's been raining for a while now actually See how that looks out. Let's see. Let's see how it looks out here with this through the window. Oh yeah. I don't mind the rain. Keeps everything green. check later make sure there's no any no flooding here but I don't know if you can see the sea you can barely see it so this is how it looks here in the uh, inner courtyard November 10th I think it's about eight in the morning right now Still early. I'm gonna 
there that you can see Pico over the houses, but nothing. Just completely fogged in. The gutters are working. Wow. Oh yeah. Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Won't get my quit my JD job. Who loves the sound of rain? I'm off to work. I'm really hoping the traffic isn't as bad today. The traffic wasn't so bad today after all. Let's get painting. As you can see Laura's in the background there. We decided to do a bit of a DIY here around a few things we wanted to do in the, in the house here in Lash. Uh, one of them is to paint this room in the bottom here. We're actually gonna maybe, this could be a nice office for us. And uh, we're also gonna be doing some painting with the cupboards. Uh, they're a little outdated, so uh, we've decided to uh, freshen them up a bit. Uh, we'll keep you in the loop to, uh, uh, on the final product. Uh, how's the paint? Is that paint good? Yeah, so far. Yeah? We're gonna need two coats for sure. canceled so we're now back in Fayal to get an extension on my visa well I got my visa extended until March uh, because we booked a flight for January 23rd but just in case anything happens with COVID where it gets canceled again um, then we're safe oh, yeah. and the experience here was uh, amazing uh, Rui who helped us helped me extend my visa was very very uh, helpful and uh, yeah so very happy <laughs> this is also good if um, if all of a sudden uh, Canada closes its airports uh, and so forth yeah so if, it, if the flight's canceled again of Canada closing the airports then uh, we're safe to stay here until March okay so we now we have some time to kill because the ferry uh, we don't have to take it back over to Pico until five o'clock so, uh, sorry about the car going by. So we're probably just going to take a little walk around Fayel.
hotel slash resorts here on Fayal. Uh, they actually changed the name. It's called Azores Fayal Garden. And it's got a really nice grounds. And uh, I think they got over 100 rooms here. And it's right in the city of Orta, overlooking Pico. And you can see the marina is right in front. We're not going to go inside. We might do a video where we go more into the hotels, the tourism. We just uh, thought it would be nice to go through the grounds, and it's, this is uh, one of the older places here, older hotels, so it's, uh, it's really part of the, what Fayal is all about. We're at the uh, beach of Port Ping, which is uh, probably the main beach of Fayal Island. Beautiful spot. Sometimes you, just, you don't need too many words to describe it, it's just a beautiful. The sun's going down, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Port Ping Beach, the main beach of Fayal. It's a bay here. You can take hikes all the way up there where the church is. So on the other side of this, the other side of this, uh, this side is where Orta is, the city. It's like a cove. restaurant here, Ginuino. Uh, it's a gentleman, his name is Ginuin Madruga, and he owns this restaurant here in Fayal, Port Ping area. And he actually went around the world, I think it was twice, by himself. This is a map of the two trips that uh, he did. Just him and the sailboat. The blue and the red. One, blue. The, tr the red is the first trip. Uh, started in the Azores and ended in the Azores. So, uh, Apparently the restaurant here, we haven't eaten there. Uh, when, we, when we're here for dinner one night, we're going to definitely check it out. They have the amazing seafood. It's now the end of the evening. We're ending our video on Fayel. We're just heading back to the ferry. The sun is about to set. And uh, yeah, we had a, a nice day walking around. Yeah, my legs are pretty sore right now. Uh, it always, at the beginning before starting to walk, you look around, things always look closer where you're trying to get to. So the next thing you think it's 10 minute walk, it's like almost an hour. But I guess it's good exercise. Yeah, we spent the, the day here. Obviously we came over to Fayal to get Laura's extension, which she's already told you and she got. And uh, now Yeah, so we're gonna be here for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, if the airport's closed down, as far as the visa goes, she's good until the end of March, which is good. We don't have yeah. to worry about that. You notice I'm smiling and I'm gonna miss my family over Christmas, but... Uh, that's not, yeah, it's, that's the only drawback. And, yeah. Uh, uh, I need to get back there before the, the end of January, so that's the idea, but... And uh, we have our family here too. Yeah, the best of both worlds. If I, we, I don't know, you, you don't look tired, but I, I, I do. I'm actually, no, my feet hurt, actually, wow, I'm a <laughs> from more tired. all the walking. I'm going to have to get home and lie down for a few minutes. This, so, uh, this episode is going to have a variety of things, uh, some day-to-day, -day, uh, the last part being the visa extension. And I know one, uh, someone who sent me a comment, I can't remember her name, but she uh, obviously loved the videos and so forth, and she said to, one of the things she said was, and it, it stayed in my mind, she goes, show more of Fayal, right? So we, we only keep, popped over for like four hours today. And we say, you know what? Let's get a little bit of footage so she can see a little bit yeah. of Fayal. So hopefully so, she, she's so your, watching. Your, your wish is our command. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you uh, you enjoyed the whole video, including Fayal again. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And hit the bell. And continue with those comments, guys. So see you on the I'll next video. Ya. Ciao.